They added a new floor and I'm so excited to see it. First of all, what's in this treasure room? It's Akeldama. I'll roll it. I'll get Eden's Blessing. That's good. So the new floor is based off of The End Is Nigh, another game Edmund made after Isaac, which I played to near completion. That game is absurdly hard. At least 100%. Of course I beat the game, but 100% uh, in The End Is Nigh, for those of you that know, is completely nuts. And uh, the modding community came together and made a new floor based off of this game, and I am so excited to see it. Holy moly. Now, as far as I know, the spawn rules are, uh, it appears in the caves, but I'm gonna be real, uh, I've been trying to get this thing to spawn for a long time, and the way that you access this floor is by talking to an NPC that randomly spawns. So, if I can't get him to spawn, I might just spawn him in with the uh, debug console, but we'll see. So the floor is based off The End Is Nigh, right? The End Is Nigh is a platformer that Edmund made. It's after Meat Boy, and this might be a controversial opinion. I completed both End Is Nigh and Meat Boy, and I'm gonna be real, I actually, I, I love End Is Nigh way more. And I love Meat Boy. End Is Nigh is such an underrated masterpiece of a platform in my opinion dude an absolute challenging masterpiece and i i'm not i'm not trying to make edmund get more money because we all know he's got a ton of moolah but i am just gonna say if you have not played that game you absolutely should it's definitely worth your time uh i look for a secret room over here oh nice i got it maybe a key uh, i was kind of hoping for a key so i go in the library and maybe get bookworm but that's not the case so we got to get to the caves and we'll see if the npc spawns for now though we'll fight a ragman we have a tears up so i'm not too worried about this guy thank god it's finally done i will roll this now nah, yeah sure this will give me maybe a damage up hey i was lucky I don't know if the alternate floors work with it. I, I All I know is that the NPC can show up on caves. So I'm just going to go normal floors right now. You guys have no clue how excited I am to see this floor. Holy. I, I was actually following uh, this mod for a bit. I saw that. I think it got teased on Twitter. And, and I, I retweeted it. I liked it. I was like, please, God, give it to me now. I'm so excited to see it finally released. There are actually a couple of references to The End is Night in Isaac that got added on later, such as, I believe if you're playing Blue Baby and you pick up, what is it, Ball of Tar, Blue Baby turns into Ash from the game, the main protagonist. There's a couple Easter eggs in here, because you know Isaac always references a lot of things. Hey, a Rotten Heart, that's pretty epic. HP, sure, why not? I can get two pots and a potential secret room here, so I think it's worth. Epic, I got nothing. Hello? Ew. Ew. No, no, no. Maybe there's a battery in my shop. It, both of those are just colors. Kind of yucky. Yucky. Ew. Gross. This car- Oh! Hey, listen, man. You're supposed to show up earlier, not now. Well, dang it. Um, I already picked up the treasure room item, right? So I can't do anything about this. That sucks. Let's look for the secret room and maybe I'll find a way to get some kind of battery and I'll roll the curse room. But other than that, well, now I definitely want to go to the shop actually, holy. That's pretty hype. Wa-bam, steam sale and a battery. Perfect. Take you. I don't know if I can get another cent. Uh, I know there's one on the floor, but whatever. I'll just blow my donation machine. I'm chilling on money. Thank you. And I think I'll roll the curse room just because it's a little bit more fun, you know? I will be at 1 HP, but whatever. Magic skin, you are you are joking me. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> fine, I'll do it one time. Inner child, sure. Okay, now I gotta heal up and then get the D6, and then we can go. So now we're on the caves, right? So I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it has to appear on caves 2, not caves 1, but we'll full clear caves 1 just in case, right? What's supposed to happen is that Steven shows up, and I do mean like literally that Steven. I can't believe I did not get hit just now. That was kind of a god dodge by me. The the boss Steven, the one with the little baby. For all you young little goobers out there, it's time for lore time. There's this game called Time Fuck, okay? Edmund made this game a long time ago. I played it, it was sick. And in that game, you play as Steven. And then later on, he made a game called The End Is Nigh. And it was a platformer where you play as Ash. And basically, there's this whole canon lore where it all ties back together, blah, blah, blah. Steven is associated with The End Is Nigh. Steven is supposed to be somewhere on the caves. Uh, we talk to him, enter his mouth, and enter the future, which is the new floor. Okay, boss room's over there. We can maybe suss out our secret room. In fact... Well, I haven't blown up a keeper. It looks like maybe there's enough rooms that I can get another roll. I'm gonna see if I can spawn the angel. Okay, Mega Fatty done. No angel. Magic skin. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, well, that's actually good. I don't mind. Whoa! 
Dude, I gotta say, I am so happy that we have a community of people that really appreciates Edmund's games and just gives back and makes such cool things. You guys are nuts. What is in here? I, I should have never used that damn item. <laughs> 15 cents allows me to go to the shop with relative ease. Pill baggy, meh. Restock with a steam sale. Sounds good to me. Do a clubs, sure. Blow up time. And two nickels and a battery and a battery pack. Wow. Hey, looks like we're gonna be able to roll that uh, restock. I, did I say roll the restock? Roll the magic skin, hello? Yes. Feels pretty weird being really excited for my reflection these days because I remember for so long you were just getting really disappointed when you would see it, but it, it's a good feeling, you know? It's nice to feel excited for an item you're usually not. Oh, Liberty Cap, might as well. Secrets here, pretty obviously. It's a dude, I'm not even gonna blow you up, just kidding, I will. Uh, watch battery, that's honestly better. Especially because I'm running D6, we'll take that. Okay. So we did not get a Steven NPC on this floor. So we're going to check the next floor and we'll see if he spawns. Okay, charge key. Good thing I didn't pick that up. Always got to stay alert when playing this game. You never know when they're going to drop that. I've had a few times where I take a charge key by accident with a full active item. It's kind of frustrating. There you are. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just like fanboyed. Okay, so check this out. Look, it's so detailed. He's literally looking at me. It is so cool, but we're not going to do it yet. Let me clear out the floor. We're gonna clear out the floor and then see what he has for us. That is, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how much of a fan I am for Edmunds games, dude. I started playing MVM again recently, just like doing random uh, Tale of Two Cities, right? I look at my cosmetics. I have the old Brimstone Horns cosmetic, the genuine one on TF2. And I literally renamed it back in like 2014 or whatever to I Love Edmunds Games. <laughs> What an, what an absolute fanboy I am, Jesus. Also, Tech 2 is kind of sick. It's uh, not working too well in this room, to be fair. Uh, I don't know why. What is it trying to do? Oh, it's my reflection moment, I see. I'll open this chest. Honestly, I don't really have anything to roll on this floor. Game's been pretty chill. I haven't found any pedestals. Yeah? Okay, well, I did ask for something to roll. That works, thank you. And I'm not worried about getting a roll for the angel because I have that charged key. Oh, also, a uh, little battery's doing its thing. Let me go grab that charge key, fight the boss. Uh, maybe find my secret room also. And then we'll enter the future. Okay, done. And angel and coin purse. Sure. What's in here? Stairway! You're joking me! Okay. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to take this angel item. Because I want to save a roll for the stairway on the next floor. I wonder if stairway works on the alternate, like, future floor. I mean, I see no reason why not. Double health up moment? Hell yeah. Here's up to... You're, you're spoiling me, actually. All right. So we touch you and something happens. Mmm. You reek of sadness. Please poke your head into the future. All right, here we go. <gasps> That's so cool! That is so cool. Okay, that is how the loading works in the end is night. It literally does that effect. And it's doing the song. I love this song. Stairway moment. Uh, here, we will pay things out and see if we can get a kind of a god item going. It is so, it's so rainy. It's like the downpour too. Damn, bro really took all my money. A magic skin moment again. Uh, the only thing I can take here is a little delirium. A little disappointing, uh, but no big deal because I'm so excited to explore this floor. Oh my god. I'm so ready to like spot every single reference. Okay, ready? Here we go. That's Isaac. <laughs> hey, look, fuck. Remember I said time fuck? There you go. Looks like we got Gish up there, maybe. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay, they got knights that are Stevens and they just turned into the other. What the hell? Okay, it looks like every so often there's a cycle and I can hit certain enemies. Like, I can only hit the enemies that are intangible or not intangible, sorry. What is that guy? I don't know what's going on. What is going on? I'm trying to figure out this, like, cycle mechanic. I don't know if it's just maybe, okay, aesthetic. What are you? <gasps> I can talk to you. You need consolation prize. Okay, try not to blow him up by accident, right? Okay, I give you my consolation prize. Huh. Cool! Useless, 100%, and I hate you, but that was so cool. These ghosts, okay, these ghosts you cannot kill. These ghosts are in uh, the end portion of The End is Nigh. You can't kill them, I suppose. But if it works like The End is Nigh, I should not be able to get hit. There you go. 
they're only able to hit you when they are like big moment. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. It's actually really interesting because wow, okay. Because <laughs> I have end is nigh experience, I, I understand that these enemies won't hurt me. Just because that's that's how it is in the end is nigh. Bozo, yahoo! Uh, something I'm noticing too, which is interesting, is all the text has like a really fat drop shadow. Like, really big. I, I kind of like it though, I dig it. It looks like just randomly every now and then they just cycle in between the, the both of each other. What are these ghosts? I don't remember these guys. These guys are new. What is that? Whoa! What is this? I want I want them to shoot more, it's so cool. Okay, you can see the bullet pattern on the ground. That is so awesome! Oh my god. You guys are so nuts when it comes to modding, man. Ow, I got hit. These guys explode on death, good to know. They look like uh, just basic bonies. I like, what, what is this like side? What? There's like, just, what, what is it called? Scrolling the screen? I, uh, that's so cool! That's gotta be an Isaac 2. Put that in Isaac 2, Edmund. That's gotta be an Isaac 2. This guy takes the battery. I kind of want the battery to be honest with you, but there's a restock machine and I should experience everything to do with the mod. So we get Demon Baby, no thank you. We get number two, ugh, ugh. Yeah, it's actually good. Oh, look, I can use uh, the parallax. That's not what it's called. I can make use of it though. What is that? It's a cannon. I don't want to kill it. It's so cool. I'm freaking out. Tactically use the, the screen scroll. I like that. Okay, second phase. No? All right, a little mini boss. Vengeful spirit. Sure. Heartbreak. Sure. That's actually good because I have magic skin. It's definitely a challenging floor. The, the, the description of the mod says a new challenge floor. And uh, I'll tell you what, they were definitely not lying. They nailed that 100%. This could be secret room. I doubt it. I was actually correct. I'm sorry. What is that? Huh? Are you a friend? Are you a foe? Okay. He's he's chill. He's just he just wants to be our friend. Here, I got a Steven. Thanks. Um, maybe I Yara this and get a God card. It's the fool, actually. Can I touch you? I don't want to risk that, actually. But I'm just gonna try and figure out the boss. It's Nevermore. Okay, probably gonna die, but whatever. I'm gonna go a little silent here and just let you guys enjoy the boss fight while I try and figure it out and play it myself. Is that it? Did I do it? If you didn't know, that, I think that's the Ash scream at the very end, or the very beginning of the, the game. Iron Cart heals one red heart, plus a black heart, plus a damage up. And I think that's everything. Wow. Not to, I was very satisfied with that boss fight, by the way. I did that completely, like, I sight read everything. I was like, it makes sense. These mechanics are cool. I get it. I have the skill to do this. That was so... Awesome. I cannot express that enough. You guys are so nuts when it comes to Isaac modding. Now, are we done? No, because I have Stairway and I want to see how OP I can get. <laughs> so let's let's carry on with the run. But in terms of the future floor, I that I I, I was tearing up. I'm not even gonna lie. I know I sound like a like a complete like bozo, but I'm sorry. I just love what you guys do. It's so insane to me. Reverse card? Reverse justice card? Ah, remember when I said I was gonna rig the game and it ain't over just yet? Oh yeah, well guess what? Now we did give away the battery and while it is unfortunate, again, I just wanted to do that because I wanted to experience everything to do with that floor. I did not know that giving away items and trading them for other ones was the mechanic and I think that's a really cool mechanic. That is the perfect 
mechanic for a challenge floor. It's not like, okay, you can just add more items. You go to the challenge floor where you have a high likelihood of dying in exchange for the chance to get rid of an item that you didn't like, maybe get something better. Plus restock machines. Plus that secret room was cool. It literally just gave me Steven. I'm sorry I didn't touch that dude. I was a little afraid of dying. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God, it's mom. I did not know this was a mechanic. Okay, my bad. I didn't realize going to the future counted as an extra floor. And basically that's my depths too. Otherwise I would have explored way more. Oh well, not a big deal because all I really care about is the fact that I have the reverse justice with me. And I have rerolls plus money plus steam self for stairway. That's all I could hope for. Hey, look, I even got this. Let's go up. We've been going down a lot. Magic skin. I need you to stop. Okay, salvation's cool. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna spawn the angel room with 5.6% chance. I'm gonna freak out. Uh, and then... <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be magic skin. Actually, it's gonna be 0.2% chance. Can you imagine? I got hit a th- uh, that was, that was kinda bad, actually. Give me the speed up. I gotta find a bomb. I gotta blow up angel rooms, dude. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm a little scared, but we managed to pull through. We at least got literally one bomb, which is all we need. Now we can blow up the angel key piece and re-roll it and then get magic skin. Yes! Boom. Eden's soul, I mean that that sure is juicy, I'm not gonna lie, but I just, I have the d6, I can't do that right now. Nice, paid out pretty fast this time. Let's get the two blue fires, I think I messed the one on the left. No, we're good. And roll. Miter Purgatory Scapular. These are all great. Thank you. Maybe a crane game in here. Oh, wow. My god, did you just give me a magic skin? Let's go. Thanks for the soul right? Oh my god. Note to self, never go for the one-off magic skin. It's literally never worth it. Nice. It lives, done for. Devil achieved? Magic skin? <laughs> oh my doll. Guys, look. All right, well. Uh, all we care about is the stairway and the whole going up thing. So let's do that. Ah, make sure to drink water before we carry on. That's conjoined progress. I'll go for that. And maybe you can pay out in seven cents. I highly doubt it, but I might as well try. You are one beautiful boy, aren't you? Thank you. This is like the first room we've had that isn't just all magic skin. It's a wonder to behold. I'm uh, wrong. Okay, Isaac fight should be easy. I want to try and use salvation. Salvation's been doing a lot of damage for us. Yikes. <laughs> it's not worth that much though. Hold on. Why did, why did bro just do like one light? Did you see that? <laughs> did you guys see that? <laughs> he just gave up. He wasn't feeling it. He did like one light. I was like, ah, actually, I don't, oh, I'm just not feeling it today. Sorry, guys. He did it again. What are you doing? Isaac, you need to talk or something. You're just not, like, you're not into it today. You don't want to fight. It's okay. Everyone give Isaac a hug. I think he needs it. Let's take our role. Curse of Darkness? Oh, no, just the reverse sun, sorry. Boom. Haskell Habit? I can't take any of these. I just realized I'm broke. <laughs> Magic Skin, if you do not stop showing up, I will destroy you. Versatoid is giga hype. I'm not even kidding. Tears up. Nice. Let's go find our secret room. This is the thing we've been waiting for. I didn't even grab the key piece. Uh, oh, well. This entire run, I've been thinking about nothing other than, like, how cool that future floor was. That, that was, like, everything. That was so crazy good, dude. You can go in here, blow this up, maybe ahead of the keeper for a roll. No. We get three chests. One, two, and three. And we can so Oh! I like that. So here's my plan, right? We take the spin down. What should we do with the spin down? Do any of these spin down anything crazy? No, I don't think so. We can store it, I suppose. Store the spin down, switch it out for the magic skin in here and then start rolling this, which will be even more secret room items. And at the very end, I will turn this D6 into a parasite with the spin down dice. See, it doesn't- <laughs> It doesn't matter how much you mess up, because as long as you can roll the secret room, nothing else really matters. The moon? You gave me a reverse moon card? You shouldn't have. Oh wow, you really shouldn't have. <laughs> Jello is actually an insanely good item, but I just- I have a D6. If I fall for that red poop one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Infamy. Oh, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Keeper's box, maybe. Oh boy, a bomb! I'm not falling for this time, that's right. Get out of here. We get... Yes! That was so worth the entire thing, I don't care. Oh my god! What the fuck? 
I just, I don't, I don't get it. I, look at me, Parasite. Oh, holy moly, I'm getting dizzy, dude. My, I'm getting lightheaded. Please, whatever you do, support the mod creators. They are top tier. Every single mod creator out there. If you've ever made a mod, you're goaded, dude. Mod creators are goaded. You guys are goaded. I get to fight Delirium, uh, uh, but I don't want to. You guys are so dedicated. It's insane. Holy moly. That was an insanely good floor. GG.